and welcome to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition, where we aim to maximize your understanding and minimize your need for memorization. Each episode will recap content, skills, and test-taking tips to help you succeed in May. I'm your host, Melanie Kingett, and your recap starts now. Hi, and welcome to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. Today's episode will recap community ecology. Let's zoom out. We're in Unit 8, Ecology. Topic 8.5. Our big idea is energetics. Before we start, let's review the ecology hierarchy. Organisms combine to form populations. Populations of different species interact in communities. And communities interact with abiotic factors within ecosystems. Today's episode will focus on the ways in which different populations in a community affect ecosystem stability, energy availability, and survival. Let's zoom in. The CED kicks off this section with the calculation for Simpson's Diversity Index. Like most equations utilized in this course, they are available during the test on the formula sheet. And remember, you can use a calculator during the multiple choice and FRQ sections. The Simpson's Diversity Index compares the number of one species to the entire sample. In real science land, these values would be gathered by taking random samples from a particular habitat. Each of these ratios is squared, summed, and then subtracted from one. The closer the diversity index is to one, the more diverse the community is. And communities with greater biodiversity are more resistant to ecosystem disruptions and environmental changes. Organisms have to access energy from their environment. They can't make it themselves. The way in which organisms accomplish this is extremely varied and influences community structure. Competition for energy and matter is a large driving force within communities. What competition? This competition can be between species groups, like different plants growing towards available sunlight, or within species groups, with two male rams fighting for a female's attention to mate. Some community interactions are permanent, having evolved dependency over many, many years with symbiosis. Mutualism is an interaction where both species benefit, like with the honeybee and the flower. The bee collects pollen for their hive while aiding in sexual reproduction of the plant as it moves from flower to flower. Commensalism is when one species benefits while the other is not harmed nor helped. For example, the golden jackal follows the tiger as they hunt for prey, feeding off scraps the tiger leaves behind. Jackal gets a free meal, and the tiger doesn't care either way. Negative relationships come in a few varieties. Classic predator positive versus prey negative, and parasitism with parasite positive and host negative. Examples of parasitism include fleas on dogs, tapeworms in humans, and fungi on trees. Hello, AP students. Producer Brad here to tell you about the importance of hard work and... Okay, they're gone. Here's the deal. One procrastinator to another, you haven't started studying. Hey, no, you don't need to lie to me or make up excuses. You're among friends. We're in the trust tree, okay? Now, like I was saying, you haven't started studying and I haven't started editing the episode you're listening to. But guess what? It doesn't matter. We thrive under pressure. Does awesome stuff happen when you carefully plan for months and months? No. Awesome stuff happens at the end, when the clock is winding down. Hail Mary touchdown passes, buzzer beaters from half court, walk-off grand and slams, fireworks, dessert, every action movie ever. This is when legends are born. With that being said, it doesn't hurt to give the material a once over. That's where the binge comes in. Sign up for a virtual binge review session today at theabsoluterecap.com. That's the A-P-S-O-L-U-T-E recap.com. And then go be awesome like your hero, me. Word of warning, don't make assumptions about two species interactions based on outside knowledge you may have gained from watching Animal Planet. Focus only on information given within the prompt. Oftentimes, predator-prey interactions will be graphed for analysis. Additionally, follow the thread of energy. This will often be represented through a food chain, web, or trophic cascade. Even parasitic relationships can be beneficial to communities if they free up resources for other organisms or create unoccupied niches. What's a niche, you ask? 
A niche is the role or job that an organism has within an ecosystem. They're a puzzle piece, if you will. If you take out an organism that was accessing sunlight at the canopy level, like a large tree, then a niche has opened for increased ground growth. Competition decreases through niche partitioning, like if two birds normally eat the same food source, but one species accesses the top of the tree while the other feeds from food that has fallen onto the ground. They are unlikely to negatively impact each other. Time for unit connections. Let's think back to unit three, cellular energetics, where we discussed cellular respiration, photosynthesis, and enzymes. Community ecology continues the transfer of energy beyond organelles, and through trophic levels. All right, what about the exam? This is a good example topic for data analysis, especially analyzing graphs that may have error bars. Remember, if error bars overlap, there is no statistical difference between groups. To recap, communities change over time as populations interact. Interactions can be positive, negative, or neutral, and influence how organisms access energy and matter. Diverse communities are more resistant to environmental change and have a calculated Simpsons diversity index closer to one. Coming up next on the Absolute Recap Biology Edition, statistics. Today's question of the day is about finding Nemo. The clownfish hides within the anemone and excretes waste within it. What type of symbiotic relationship is this? For the answer to the question of the day, please follow us on Instagram at The Absolute Recap. That's the A-P-S-O-L-U-T-E Recap. Check out our website, theabsoluterecap.com, for episode schedules, study guides, virtual tutoring, and to sign up for our virtual classroom. The Absolute Recap is produced by Brad Kingett with music by Zach Caruso. Today's episode was written by me, Melanie Kingett. Thanks for subscribing, and don't forget to rate and review wherever you get podcasts. Time's up, pencils down. Thank you for listening to the Absolute Recap Biology Edition. AP is a registered trademark of the College Board. Copyright 2020, Absolute Recap, LLC, all rights reserved.